everybody this is Fernando Bugarin in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to do a quick uh, PC tune-up with a free program you can download uh, online so what we're going to do first is uh, open up your browser type in CCleaner and uh, CNET try to be the first top link here we go let it load and uh, download link on the left Wait for the pop up to come up, save it. I'll just go ahead and save it on the desktop for now. Save. Quick download, really fast. There you go. This is the setup. Let's go ahead and double click that. Press uh, yes. And it's going to ask you for your language. Just press English. Just welcome to the Quick Up Wizard. Uh, we'll go ahead and press next. License agreement. Just go through it really quick. Agree. I would recommend leaving all these boxes checked. Press install. Installs really fast. It's a small, really small program. And we'll go ahead and uh, uncheck the view notes. Uh, we don't really need to see that. And go ahead and finish. Program should start up. Wait a second. All right. It says uh, intelligent scan for cookies. Keep. I'd probably recommend pre pressing yes because it deletes uh, some junk that you gain from your email so let's press yes once the program starts up there's going to be the uh, system information on top this program works for XP Vista and Windows 7 and it's going to show you your processor your uh, amount of RAM you have and your video card and the tools this program has is the cleaner the registry fix errors and a couple extra tools we're first going to start up with the cleaner so let's go ahead and press cleaner and we're going to do a run, uh, run cleaner. It's going to ask you, are, are you sure you want to proceed? Just press go ahead and yes. What this does is scan your computer for uh, extra files and folders and uh, browser history and uh, temporary files that really take up space and you, really, you don't really see where they're at. Right now it's finished. You can see it. It deleted 237 megabytes of uh, useless junk I don't really need. And it kind of builds up over time, especially on the older computer. So that's pretty good. 230, 237 megabytes removed. Next tool, registry cleaner. What this does is uh, scan your computer, your Windows files, and checks for errors and uh, obsolete, uh, obsolete, uh, I guess files that Windows doesn't need anymore. So we'll go ahead and scan for issues. It's gonna scan the system real quick. All these, all these tools are really fast. They go, they go really fast in terms of just run it in a couple seconds finish so it found a couple errors uh, firewall rules invalid you can see ActiveX issues kind of like those issues where your window says uh, sorry um, this error happened do you want to send it to Microsoft you know he says save it send it or not send it and it saves it in the back of your computer and you really need that so go ahead and press uh, fix selected issues it's gonna ask you if you want to save the ba uh, some backup to the registry. I can recommend just pressing yes. Uh, making up a folder. I'll just save it in uh, save it in here. And we're gonna go to for fix all selected issues. It's gonna fix all of them at once. So we'll go ahead and press that. And it's finished. We're gonna go close that. So that's that tool. Next up, it's gonna be the the general tools that the software uses. We're going to go ahead and click this. And from here, you have uninstall program, star program, system restore, and drive or uh, drive wiper. This program lets you uninstall programs that you have on your computer. So I had to use my list of programs I have. If just in case I want to delete something, like me, uh, I didn't want Photoshop anymore, just click on Adobe Creative 3 and just uninstall. You know, I'll, uninstall, I'll, I'll go through the section by section uninstall for you really easy so you don't have to mess with the windows and go to control panel and all that stuff um, I don't really need to uninstall the thing so I'll go to the next tool next tool is a startup all these programs start up when you turn on your computer so when you turn your computer it loads up it, bo it boots up uh, windows and all these programs run in the background if you have a lot of these programs in the background it will really slow down your computer so the computer takes a couple of m couple of minutes to start up you know, it just takes a uh, takes a long time so what you want to do is go down the list one by one and see what they are and if and uh, if you want to run in the background 
Some of these are really unnecessary, like the Adobe uh, Acrobat. I don't need that running with Bracon, so you can just disable that. Adobe Arm, part of the, uh, Acrobat, so I'm going to disable that also. I don't need a uh, Adobe version Q, which is Photoshop, Illustrator, and all that. I don't need that running in the background. Disable it. Uh, Asus Gamer, which is, a, I guess, a function for the video card I have. I don't really need that running in the background. ES, uh, U, was it ES US tray? I don't need that running in the background. And the watch also. These programs for saving, I guess, hard drive information. I don't need that running in the background. So we have the IntelliPoint, which is uh, my my uh, mouse. I guess a Microsoft mouse. I don't really need that running in the background. I type, which is a Microsoft keyboard uh, program. I don't really use it, so I'm going to disable that. Uh, Real tech, that's my audio. I'm going to keep that. And my is it video card, keep that. The zoom launcher, I can just activate that myself, so I don't really need that running in the background. So I'll go ahead and disable that. Adobe Acrobat C launcher, so again, a part of the Acrobat system. I don't need that running in the background. And then the Gamma Ink, also part of the Acrobat uh, Adobe Suite program, so I'm going to disable that. So I disabled a lot of programs. This is going to help really boost up my PC running. Uh, make it run faster and boot up faster. And the rest are uh, system restore just in case your computer crashes. You can restore it from a certain point. And drive wipe is if you want to wipe your drive. We don't really need to do that. That's pretty much it. Hopefully this helps anybody and thanks for watching.